Welcome to all of you to the Sciatin topic category on emerging threats and new tools in global health. This topic covers two closely related aspects. First, it describes novel techniques to predict and prevent outbreaks from becoming a global threat. And second, it looks into novel medical intervention measures for better health. The book of infectious diseases has been pronounced closed numerous times. After all, we have established high hygiene standards. We have developed diagnostics, drugs, and vaccines, and hence can control infectious diseases, at least in rich countries. Yet, this is insufficient. AIDS, tuberculosis, malaria, and hepatitis C still kill some five million people every year. These diseases have been with us for quite some time and we got used to them. And therefore they are often viewed as threats of the past, notably because they are most prevalent today in the poorer countries. Moreover, the role of newly emerging infections and pandemics has been largely ignored or even neglected. COVID-19 has shown us in the hard way how wrong we were and how disastrous such ignorance and neglect are. In December 2019, a new pathogen, sars coronavirus 2 emerged in China. It could not be controlled immediately and it became a global threat within a couple of months. In March 2020, WHO announced COVID-19 a pandemic. How could that happen? Well, we were not prepared at all. The world did not implement recommendations for prevention of global threats, so that a toxic cocktail of ignorance and neglect allowed an outbreak to become a pandemic, which turned into a global crisis. The conclusion from all of this is very, very clear. We have to change gears and do everything to prevent this from happening again. Novel intervention measures need to be developed, which predict outbreaks with the potential to become a pandemic and appropriate containment strategies must be established. Such predictions can enormously benefit from artificial intelligence. Accordingly, the first part of the Sayatin topic focuses on strategies to prevent or at least mitigate future global health threats. Actually, all three projects focus on this topic, ranging from predictive analysis to a better health, to novel information systems to mitigate such a crisis. The first project by Payel Patachati aims at develop, developing predictive analytical tools using the data obtained during the current COVID-19 crisis to develop resilient and sustainable healthcare systems to cope better with future global health issues. The second project by Asma Kurshi attempts to combine interdisciplinary expertise in biology, biotechnology, virology, and also economics with artificial intelligence to develop rapid responses to a newly emerging health crisis. Finally, the third project by Stefan Meyer wants to document individual experiences from the current crisis to create and analyze data sets to be better prepared for the next threat. The second part of this Kyathan topic focuses on novel medical interventions to improve health for all. Indeed, the development of vaccines against, against COVID-19 within less than one year is an example without precedent how quickly novel technologies can be developed and applied once the appropriate platform has been established. The spectrum of targets for vaccines has become much broader now. 
Vaccines are no longer restricted to infectious or communicable diseases. Future vaccines can also target non-communicable diseases. These include therapies for cancer, autoimmune diseases, as well as cardiovascular and metabolic diseases. Moreover, recent insights into the biology and pathology of our body at the cellular and molecular level have provided the basis for novel post-directed measures beyond vaccines. On the one hand, technology platforms can be rapidly tailored to specific interventions against different types of diseases, thereby enormously accelerating the process of research and development. On the other hand, precision medicine will lead to the best possible intervention for each individual patient. First of the four Skyathen projects in this cluster by Natasha Pippa plans to design and develop innovative adjuvant formulations combining nanobiomaterials for faster clinical translation of novel COVID-19 vaccines. The second project by Tajabat Arijabjet aims at combining gene editing by the revolutionary CRISPR-Cas system with stem cell technology to modify our gut cells to combat diabetes, a non-communicable disease of enormous importance. The third project by Wen Yao Chen is based on game theory in principle. He wants to apply this system for cancer treatment by novel immunotherapeutic approaches. And the fourth project by Zurabi Kandashwami plans to combine traditional medicine with precision genomics. The int this interesting project proposes to integrate Indian Ayurveda-based medicine into the most recent scientific concepts in genomics. Thus, the Skyathen topic on emerging threats and new tools in global health covers a broad range of different aspects which have all one common goal, better health for all in the future. Not surprisingly, many projects base their strategies on the lessons learned from the current COVID-19 crisis for making the world a better place. I hope I have raised your interest in this Kyathan topic on emerging threats and new tools in global health. Enjoy the excellent presentations and please remember they are only the first step. Your participation in the further development and refinement of these topics will be of greatest importance for the final outcome. Thank you and have a great day.